We're good at episode 37 Dying Straits to Riches. We're back at the quarry, the second quarry mine, because this one has been completed and is now down to bedrock. Okay. So we are out in the middle of nowhere while it is raining, and there is a chicken who I will take because I need him for later. Come here, Mr. Chicken. Okay, well, the funny thing is, uh, last episode, I stated that I was going to need some time to complete the... Okay, that's weird. To complete the... Um... Oh, there you are. Whatever. Uh, to complete the top portion of the uh, the thing, and I've done it. But the funny thing is, the episode that I say that in can, comes out today, which is Thursday, but this will be coming out the Friday, so really nothing has happened. <laughs> okay, first things first, Direwolf 20's uh, mod pack is now 5.2, which means we have multi-tanks! Yes! And as you can see, that is the one over there, that's the one with the fuel in it! Fantastic! And this one over here... It's awesome, because when you look at it and can select it, it turns this. It's awesome. This has steam in it. Fantastic. Connected to all of these steam engines. Which is fueled by this high-pressure steam boiler. Which is going at full capacity, actually. And is connected to... Uh, four of these are connected to this gate can store energy, redstone signal. Which goes down and turns all of these on with this lovely uh, jacketed wire. These are all here temporarily, because I needed them here temporarily. Let's go over here. This is still the same. This is just here temporarily. Um, and there. This. I think I showed you this last time. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. It's a bit laggy. There's lots of stuff. I need a new computer. Uh, this is all the stuff. Uh, I'm picking up. Uh, a lot of Rocky Princesses. A lot of... Uh, Rock beehives, actually. There's no crap in here, which is great. Uh, all of this liquid... All of the, the uh, test reactor is really good. This uh, filters out all of the shit that we don't want. Appetite, I don't really care about. All of this feeds into a loop around here. Which uh, goes into all of these recyclers, which are out of power, apparently. How oh, crap they are. Darn it. And as you can see, um, let me show you, actually, another in here, there it is, I'll show you what the outside looks like in just a moment, there we go, excellent, let's put all these back, put this in here, okay, and this is how much uranium, iridium ore we have, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stacks, taking a bit of stacks, excellent. All of this scrap. This is just a temporary setup, it's not going to stay here, thank God. <laughs> and what I've decided to do actually is make it, make all of the rooms here a lot bigger. Because this is how big it is. Also, I've decided to put the barrels in which that things, like all of these here, are all needed for here. So I thought, well, I might as well just keep them all here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make like a computer... A computer craft kind of majobby that lets us connect all of these together. I think so, I might do that. It'd be quite cool, I think. Let's stare randomly. Uh, what else? Um, Obviously, I haven't been doing much to this because... It's, I've basically just made this uh, multi tank for steam. Oh, the steam multi tank is so handy. Just uh, I've, I've put it here because it basically fits in this area. So I mean, two two and a half million is pretty handy. Let me show you how much this uh, how much fuel we have out of sixteen million. And as you can see here, I'm actually making a a walkway around here and this wall is going to go all the way around so the whole building essentially is just going to be made out of these bricks let's go over here I'll show you the two tanks 
of lava. As you, the the multi tanks are just that they can be made out of anything as long as they have a middle that's empty. They can be made out of anything at all. So this is made out of this stuff, glass up front, which turns into the normal glass for some reason. It's probably because the texture isn't there or whatever, I don't know. And on the bottom is just uh, stone bricks, and around here is just red uh, red bricks. I think it's pretty good. Same on this side. This switch here allows the pump to turn on and off. I like seeing the pumps everywhere, I think it's pretty cool. Go up here. Down here is the liquid tesseract, which looks like it's empty now, so why don't we go out and... Oh, that needs moving at some point, this does. And oh, I've moved all of this stuff for the time being out of the way. Uh, this is currently on making us cold coat with a nice little bit of uh, creosote oil here. I like these kind of tanks. I'm going to make more of these tanks. Uh, this is still making steel. I forgot to make a output valve, so, so this has gone all night and then I totally forgot to change it. So where were we going? Let's go to the knees then, shall we? Where are we now? We're here. Okay. That up. How is this looking? The problem is, like, when you pick up the uh, the source block, all the rest of it should leave, but that just doesn't happen with lava, it's so annoying. Good thing about this is that you can turn dynamic up, uh, increase this. Alright, so, let's get this up. I don't want to lose any of these. And you can see the area in which it covers. It's quite big. It's not bad. So let's go further then, shall we? Actually, we need to go further this way. Can we turn off... Fuck, yeah, there we go. Whoa, that's better. I think over here would be... Yeah, over here... Over here would be a good idea. Whoa. What? Come here. Alright then. Where the hell? Seriously, what? Where is that? I was over there. All right, I think the safest place to put it would be over here. There we go. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want to see the outside, preferably. Okay, and our normal one, normal, whoops, way of doing this would be to do that. Get our pumps out, that, that. So the two pumps. There. I've oh, got liquid tesseract, fill, uh, send only. that down. Receive only. Okay, whatever then. Oh, no, that's not it. There we go. And that should be powered now. Fantastic. Oh, wait, no. The thing I forgot last time was that. Okay, here we go. We're done. We're done on that. Okay, it's ten minutes later. Let's actually show you the outside, shall we? Hmm. 
Mm, this is what it looks outside. This take this took so long it's unbelievable. It's actually good that I was off this week because I booked it off. Otherwise, this would have not got done in the time that I would have liked. But here's what it looks like. There is a few places where I don't like. Like none of this is actually all of the ore that was here beforehand was here. And all of that ore that you saw before was just mixed in with the stuff that I found from the quarry. See, up here I don't particularly like because it's flat because the filler here, I accidentally made it too big, so it flattened the whole thing out, which I didn't really want it to. Um, this spot I really like because it looks really natural. I mean, the the whole upside down pyramid doesn't look natural in the first place, but connected to some things like this, I think it looks alright. That part, this part over here, I think is the best side. This part over here. Oops. Hmm. Don't know about the floating tree here. Oh, and that. And uh, what else? Yeah, here is definitely the best side. I mean, uh, it looks a bit more natural here with the two sides up here. And this side, obviously, another mishap with the filler. Uh, yeah, but I don't know, I, I could populate this stuff with trees and it'll look quite nice. You have a lot of health. So, uh, so yeah, I think, I think it looks really cool. It looks a lot better than the total flat sides. Yeah, and that was going to hurt me because I'm running out of, running out of this stuff. Okay then. Let me grab that. Oops. How is this going? Yeah, all of these have four times overclockers. Which could actually be better, really. We could do four more in them to make them faster, but uh, I can't be asked to make them at the minute. And this always... It's basically is just running out. It's not fast enough. We need more. We need part more power from this way. So I think at some point we could definitely start looking into using nuclear power. It would be nice. Would be nice indeed. And we've got so far twenty-one. Not much. Not much at all. But still, that's what we get. Okay, that us finally start trying to make this grav suit before we do that let me fill these up now the grav suit is pretty much the same as the quantum suit it's just it just allows you to fly which is the main thing that I want because I want a nice um, suit to protect me and I don't have to wear a lap pack or a jet pack. I actually need to make this into an advanced, uh, a, a ultimate lap pack, I think it's called. Which, um, well, which uses a lot of stuff, needless to say. We need to make the advanced lap pack first. Let's make that first. Ultimate lap pack. So we need iridium plate, which is a diamond and advanced alloys. How do I make the iridium plate? Diamond advanced alloys, of course it's like... Which I literally just said. Where's that my advanced alloys? Obviously this is all temporary. Machines, advanced alloys. We're going to need some dense copper cable and some iridium plates. Where's my diamond? There it is. Uh... Okay, what's going on here? What is going on? Hmm, weird. Let's make, oh, we've already got iridium plates. Let's, let's, make, let's just use these iridium plates. And I know this is the wrong way around, I think. Yes, it is. Don't need it anymore. Okay, we don't need we don't need an iridium plate because we've already got some. So we need to make the superconductors, which is two iridium plates 
And four advanced alloys and carbon plating. Okay. Let's get six of those out, which is what we need. And two of these. Take that. Okay. And then we need one gold, which I think is just in the miscellaneous gems. Perhaps not. There it is. And two of those. Okay, so gold and the superconductor covers. Make three superconductors. Okay, so we've got a lap pack. Oh, we just need a normal lap pack. Oh, oh, an advanced lap pack as well. So even if we have an advanced lap pack, it's still the same. That's a bit shitty. Oh, I didn't realise we had any of these, these electric circuits as well. Oh, uh, okay. How many electric circuits do we need? Quite a few. Which means I need to go out and farm some rubber. Alright. Okay, got them all. Excellent. So I need a couple of stacks of that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's shove all these in here now. Pick all these up. I want to pick up these as well because that's quite a few of them. Farming them in here really is not hard. Yeah, we should be enough seven. And when we get the better, really. I think I'll start a definitely start a farmer as well at some point. A forestry farmer. Okay, so those two. Zat. And we have this. Yes, excellent. Okay then, we need all of these in here. There's that in there. Uh, that. Our superconductor. Uh, what the hell's there? Oh, we're really in plate. Ultimate lap pack, which stores up 10 million EU. Good God. So, okay, ultimate lap pack. This is used for the gravity chest plate. Excellent. Um, so we have... We need four superconductors. Uh, six superconductors. Uh, let's put that back on again. So we need eight superconductors. Um, wow, we, we need a load more electric circuits. A lot of them. Um, you know what might be an idea if we started to make a... one of these uh, farmers and loggers right now as... That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Let's get this out. Just nick them all from there, it's a lot easier. Alright, that's powered. That's powered. Okay then, let's have a look at these loggers, shall we? Natural stuff, that goes in there, that goes in there. This iridium, I think, would be a good idea if we had a barrel for it. There we go. Okay. So, log, a logger, I know, takes diamond electron tubes and a basic circuit board. So, we need some... Is that a bronze or a brass? A sturdy casing. That's bronze. Okay. To make bronze... Four copper, one tin. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's make some more tin. Now when we do that we need a pulverizer, which we actually have. It's here. So let's pulverize those. That will furnaceificate it. Excellent. Okay, so what what else goes with the logger? Actually what number is the logger? Nine three one. Nine three one. Aha, here we go. Fermenter no pumpkin rubber farm. Does rubber farm not have a a recipe yet? Need the beast rubber farm. Rubber tree farm. Okay, so Arborium. We need golden electron tubes. Basically, I checked on the wiki and um, we don't need we don't need the rubber tree farm, it's just exactly the same. We just use the normal. Oh, I see. Which will be nice, I think, actually. Don't we need, like, peat or something like that? I'm sure we need something like peat to sort out the arborium. I'll tell you what. Let's get an arborium. Chuck it on the ground. Ah, shit, yeah, we need peat. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do we make peat, then, I guess? Peat bog. So we need a copper electron tube. To make these electron tubes, we need... A thermionic fabricate hall. I think. Correct. Oh, wrong way around. Oh yeah, I named these again, by the way. Except for the diamond sword. Uh, Alright, let me sort these out, actually. Okay, I've made the peat bog, and I've made the thing that we need to... Uh, use it with. Basically, we need all of this bog earth. Oh, oh, here we go. Excellent. So, this is bog earth, I'm guessing. Bog earth looks very weird. Where did that come from? Okay. Really don't know how or what this is doing, to be honest with you. Not really sure how long it will take either, so... Wow, this is proper dark as well. Okay, well... Uh, what else did we need? We needed peat for the uh, arborium. Yeah, we needed peat for the arborium, didn't we? That's what we needed. Oh, well, we can make the arborium anyway. Let's make, let's make that now. So we need. We've got the sturdy casing. We just need. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, all of the redstone's in the thermionic fabricator. The funny thing is, this fer this thermionic fabricator doesn't look anything like... like anything that the... the lass from forestry has made before. So it looks a bit out of place. That's my opinion, anyway. It's my last minium stone as well. Doop, and bollocks. Oh, I know where I put it. Herp. 
Looks pretty awesome, I think. I'm probably going to make it nicer, maybe have some nice um, patterns and whatnot. Actually, you know what? I bet this ultimate lap pack is actually done now. <laughs> Nowhere near. Oh, man. Excellent. It's in here. Yes, it is. So, one in there. That and some glass, which is our arboreum. Excellent. So, an arboreum needs peat bog, uh, saplings, some natural stuff. Only seven of them at the minute, but uh, what can you do? And let's also get some. Redstone energy conduits. Oh, uh, seriously, how long does this take? Oh, I like that it just stays there. <laughs> nice. I have absolutely no idea what to do now, so I guess it just automatically does it? I guess so. I guess we're not going to need all that much peat really, are we? So it's three, then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm sure this isn't isn't a problem this. I'm sure it's not. One can hope. There we go. Go oh, shit. How ironic. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't have any peat, so I mean, I, I guess we'll have to end the episode here now. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to do this uh, peat bog malarkey, and I will get a rubber tree sapling thingy on the go, and hopefully I might have actually made the golden thing by the end of it the gravity thing so hopefully alright guys that's the end of this episode it was a nice one got load more stuff to do with this like the living quarters upstairs which I'll probably make into some sort of building episode so thanks for watching guys I shall see you next time